that three years flies. Um, it goes much quicker than I expected it to. And that the project really does change. You think you're going in to do something and you end up doing something related, but it does change. You get to follow the data and you get to follow kind of like a treasure hunt in a way that I didn't expect. And that's been really fun. There have been several highlights. I think the main highlight is I feel like I've grown into like a grown up scientist. I think I started off as quite a um, a student that needed a lot of help and a lot of supervision. And over the last three years, I've really felt that I've grown into a scientist that's able to like break down problems and address them um, in a good way. Uh, I've also really enjoyed my lab environment. Uh, my supervisor has been absolutely fantastic. It's been such a joy working for her. She's a, a good, um, fantastic scientist and a fantastic mentor. And it's been really nice getting mentored by someone who's so passionate about the topic and knows what they're doing and has been able to support my growth. And that's been truly amazing. <laughs> to enjoy it, like there's ups and downs and there's obviously a lot of setbacks in PhDs, um, but to celebrate all of the small successes, because I think that makes the lows much easier to deal with. I also think setting realistic goals. Um, I think a lot of PhD students probably were quite high achievers before they got here and they have quite high goals. And I think the reason I've enjoyed my PhD so much is I came in with two main goals. And the main goal, first goal was to graduate with my mental health intact. <laughs> and the second was to still love science by the end of it. And I think everything else was a bonus. So like experiments that worked, conferences, publications, all of that was seen as like an extra and not as an expected. And that's made the whole process a lot more enjoyable. <laughs> I really liked science. <laughs> I liked research. Uh, I love the idea of spending three years on one question. And um, yeah, it's just a puzzle trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> Aside from obviously the lab based skills, um, I think I've become such a creative thinker. I think science often people don't think is a creative thing, but being able to ask a question and answer, find a way of answering it um, is quite a creative process. Um, I've become a very good, um, not excellent, but good presenter. I've enjoyed, I used to have a real fear of public speaking and I've really enjoyed being able to like get better at that and communicate my research and my data um, to both experts and non-experts and getting used to pitching it at the right level, which has been a, um, a bumpy process, but I've, <laughs> I think I've gotten good at it now.